Some years ago, back in the PhD days, I spent an evening on this little project. Uh, it also sparked an idea for a bigger team after hours recreational science project, but that's a story for another day. This is a coupled Eulerian Lagrangian simulation of a ping pong ball landing inside a fluid filled thin walled plastic cup. I made linear elastic material models from quasi-static tensile testing and used some estimations for Poisson's ratio and friction. I drew the parts in Rhino, meshed in Altair hypermesh, and simulated with Simulia abacus. It's a multi-physics model with the fluid defined in the Eulerian domain as element volume fractions, and the ball and cup are standard mechanics. I sent the ball with a trajectory so it spins around, and it's cool to see how the cup deforms and splashes the fluid up. The cup, ball, and fluid interact in a dynamic balance as the cup spins. There's kind of a phase lag between the position of the ball in the cup and the fluid. It makes me wonder if this counts as a three-body problem or an n-body problem. The n-body problem is a thing in astrophysics. If you start with the positions and velocities of three or more planets, asteroids, spaceships, or other astronomical bodies that interact through gravity, you cannot predict the positions and velocities in the future with a closed form solution, like a single equation. It's possible if there are only two, and it's possible to solve three or more with numerical step-by-step -step methods. When three or more bodies interact, each with a variable force on the other two, chaos ensues, and there's not a quick, simple equation to solve for positions and velocities. In this case, there are three masses, each with an interaction on the other two, so that seems kind of like an n-body problem. The ball fluid interaction is through the cup somehow, so it's a little different, but these all deform, so numerical methods are necessary anyway. There are maybe some astrophysics parallels to this dynamics case, but it doesn't really help solve the situation because the three-body problem or the n-body problem is still an unsolved problem, and the solution is still numerical simulation, which is the best way to simulate the cup fluid ball dynamic scenario anyway. Um, so that's all. I'll just leave it there.